Now, according to Fury and Wilder fanboys logic, Dante Wilder can beat everybody except Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury can beat everybody. Everybody, even though he hasn't fought everybody. He can beat everybody. But And Wilder can beat everybody except for Tyson Fury. But yet some of these people are still saying there doesn't need to be a fourth fight because what's the point? Well, according to your logic, a fourth fight makes sense, doesn't it? Because if Wilder is the only one that could possibly beat Fury, as in like only one that has a remote chance, because according to you, you fanboys of Wilder and Fury, Wilder's the only one that's well, his second best boxer in the world. <laughs> Uh, these 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 people just don't know boxing, do they? But anyway, because Wilder's got a hard punch, is the second best boxer on the planet after Taz Fury, who's only fought Klitschko, who was in his twilight years, thirty nine, and Wilder, who has one trick. So according to those those two victories, Taz Fury is the best in the world. Then to Wilder's the second best in the world because he just didn't beat Fury. That's all, but. He's knocked out loads of bums, so he's the second best in the world. <laughs> now, if I was ignorant and degenerate and had the same mindset as Fury and Wilder Pan Boys, even someone as ignorant and degenerate as you, I'd be cheering for a four fight because it would make sense. The two best boxers in the planet, right? The two best boxers in the world. One's unbeaten, one's only lost to the unbeaten guy. <laughs> Even though neither of them have fought Joe Joyce, neither of them have fought Alexander Usyk, neither of them have fought Anthony Joshua, neither of them have fought Martin Bicole, neither of them have fought Daniel Dubois, and the list goes on. I don't need to go on. The list goes on. But yet, yeah, the 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 first and second best boxers in the world, because. A lot of people don't seem... These Fury and Wilder fans are not boxing fans. They're Wilder and Fury fans, right? They know nothing about boxing, nothing about the art of boxing, the effects of boxing, how you age in boxing. Yeah, age, because age plays a factor in how good you are as well. They, they seem to think that Fury is, is the Fury of when he was 27, when he fought Klitschko. They think Wilder is the the guy in his 20s that won a bronze medal, that beat Holly Harrison, and that knocked out cab drivers. So you think that this is elite. That's what these clueless boxing fans, or I should say clueless Wilder and Fury fans, this is what they think. So, it's, and because AJ has lost twice against Alexander Usyk, he should retire. So I wonder if they'll have the same energy if Fury loses against Usyk, if, if he has a box to fight him. And it's funny how they're not wanting... Fury, I'm um, sorry, Wilder to retire. And he, and he lost twice to Taz Fury. So, so where is the energy for Wilder to retire? Oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Sorry, 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 I forgot. Taz Fury is the king of boxing and he's the best in the world, the best ever. Ali Tyson times 10. Lewis times 30. So I forgot, sorry. <laughs> but still. And Usyk, yeah, has proven to be the best pound for pound boxer in the world. He's proved it. He fought Joshua, something that Fury and Wilder's never done. Beat him twice, convincing fashion. Beat Joe Joyce, who everyone's scared of, who these two won't fight. <laughs> and yet, because Usyk isn't English, or he's not American, he's not going to get the credit. Because humans, uh, like robots, they follow that sheep. They just follow the trend. Oh, well, he's Ukrainian. He speaks Ukrainian. His English is not that good, so let's forget about him. Let's just concentrate on these two. Wilder and Fury.